Happy Tea Tuesday, my friends. Iced tea today, and this is my special blend of a bunch of different teas that I enjoy having after dinner. It's very refreshing. So I wanted to do a little follow-up on my purple shampoo. So I washed my hair with it and it did not make my hair purple and it did seem to tone down the uh, blonde part because this tends to get fairly brassy. Um, so yeah, I think it worked. Um, now you can always add more of the purple in there. Uh, I kind of went mid moderate amount of the, the purple and the blue. I only use like half a pack from the Dollar Tree. And um, I'll try and remember to link that video in the cards so that you can see what I did if you want to make your own Dollar Tree purple shampoo and conditioner. Now I do think the conditioner um, does more than the shampoo because obviously the shampoo you rinse you rinse out more with the soap whereas the conditioner stays in your hair more so I, I think it worked and and the the um, silver part of my hair seems to be not uh, not yellow so I'm going to do that again and you know, for $2 uh, for a bottle of purple conditioner. And, and again, of course, your shampoo is going to cost you too. So let's say for $3, you can have some uh, purple shampoo and conditioner. And actually, the colors that I used, I have enough to make another batch. So it's actually less than $2. So it's a very frugal and very um, easy to make. So it was really hot here today. And uh, I had a, a helper come over and help me in the garden, in my front garden bed, because it was just so overgrown. It was, and I had already done it once in the spring and I had it done last fall, but everything, this year, everything in my garden is just growing like crazy. The trees, I swear they have doubled in size. The pine trees and the maple trees, they have gotten so huge. I've grown myself a forest <laughs> behind my house, but I like it that way because it's very, very private. And I've shown you garden tours before. So if you have any interest, um, check out my playlist. I have a whole garden playlist uh, and I have a townhouse so I have a very small garden but I sure cram it full of things and today I also planted some grapevines. I had bought one at the nursery. Uh, it's a, a purple grape and then um, years ago I had planted a seedless green grape and it just kind of got lost in the landscape somewhere but this year I was very excited I actually found the root of it and it was starting to grow so I dug that up and I also planted that in a little area in the back so now hopefully I will have grapes growing in my backyard too so now I have grapes the two different kinds um, I'll have a blackberry bush. I have mulberries back there. Uh, there's raspberries in the woods behind my house. So they kind of grow wild, so I would just forage for those. And I have a blueberry. Actually, I actually have a couple of blueberry bushes. Uh, the one doesn't really produce anything, but I just transplanted that into a different pot. So I'm hoping that it will uh, maybe produce next year. And the other is a different kind. And I do get a handful of blueberries. It's been in the same pot for five years. So 
Uh, I do feed it, but I think I need to repot it. So, um, so that's what I've been up to. Um, and I was so thankful that I had this helper lady come. I mean, she's, she's younger than I am and, um, she's really a hard worker. She did an awesome job. And then, uh, so now I still have to grind out a stump. I have to find somebody to do that that isn't going to charge an arm and a leg. So how are you guys doing? Are you gardening? Is your garden coming along? I know some places have had a ton of rain. We've had plenty of rain, but not so much that it's drowning out the plants. So, um, but other than that, uh, <laughs> I was at the boat this weekend and um, we also went to uh, a marsh on, along the lake. It's, it's a wildlife preserve, a, a bird sanctuary. And there were tons of red-winged blackbirds there. And one of them must have had a baby, but I think it was a male bird. The, the bigger bird was a male bird, and he really didn't want to feed the little one. <laughs> I'm going to put a clip in here. It's just really cute. But anyway, other than that, I'm going to keep this short and sweet for my Tea Tuesday today. And uh, I'll be back uh, in a few days and I'll update my garden for you. But I will put this clip in and uh, then I'll be back and say goodbye. Hey, they're making friends. I wonder what kind of bird that is. Maybe it's a baby. Can you feed me? I'm know. really hungry. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I'm not your mama. Maybe it is a baby rat. Yeah. I don't think, I mean, they, unless they completely change color. Feed your baby. <laughs> Get away from me. Them. Leave me alone. <laughs> cheep, cheep. Oh, that's definitely a baby. All right, my friends. That's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. And uh, God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.